happening today. Well, few AFL footballers can boast the on-field profile of Geelong superstar Gary Ablett. Yet away from the game, he values his privacy, preferring a low-key approach. But in an exclusive interview with Sandy Roberts, which will form the basis of a videotape, Ablett opened up on a variety of subjects. That's in front. Won't make it. Ablett! This is the Gary Ablett we all know, the most dynamic footballer in Australia. Ablett! Oh, what a ripper! But in the off-season, it's a different sport. Similar results. Got him. Despite widespread appreciation of his on-field exploits, few can say they know Gary Ablett the man, even though he's played 184 matches since 1982. Last week, I spent several hours chatting with Ablett about a number of topics, including his thoughts on the media. But I really think that they should have more respect for people's personal lives. Um, I feel they do you know, far too much prying in that area, and I think it's just totally unnecessary. Living in a one-team town also presents its problems. You know, it's obviously not like living in Melbourne, where you know, you've, got, you've got your eight or nine or ten sides or whatever you've got in Melbourne. I've found it hard at times, um, you know, being, uh, you know, like, I, I, I think I've... Other players have probably found it just as hard as I have, just, you know, being, um, um, you know, centre of attention at times. So. Ablett admits his fame hasn't made it easy for his four children. Oh, well, I think they've had their struggles. I really, you know, I feel for them because, uh, you know, they, they feel the expectations of that. Would it worry you if they never kicked a football? Well, I would, I would, I would like to see them play football, but I really want them to, to, to pick their own sport and, uh, you know, I just want them to enjoy sport. Mm. And, you know, I don't want to bring any undue pressure upon them at all, really. Um, you know, my young fellows are you know, mad basketball players and if they continue on that, in that track, you know, for the rest of their lives, then, you know, as long as they're enjoying it, I'm happy. This season, Ablett accepted Malcolm Blight's challenge to play at full forward with extraordinary results. He kicked an amazing 124 goals in only 17 games, an average of 7.3 per match. He was at his most electrifying at the MCG. Just ask the Bombers, who were powerless to stop him kicking 14 goals, seven against them in round six. And Ablett. Of all the marks he took this year, one stood out. Ablett in front and a mark! If the mark I took uh, overhead with a couple of S and an opponents trying to punch it away. Just, it was just, um, I just felt it was a, a strong grab and they're the sort of marks I like to take. And there was one goal Ablett remembers well. I was running the, the wrong... Like I, was, I should have kicked it on my left, left boot, but I knew I was pretty hot from behind. I was about to get tackled, so I'd done a banana the wrong way, and it went through the centre, and I thought, oh, wow, it was, uh, yeah, try and do that again, I thought. Ablett eventually would like to coach, but he still believes he has at least two good years of football left in him. And that's good news for Cat fans. Sandy Roberts, Seven Nightly News. Yes, a great footballer. And Sandy, when's the tape out on Gary's highlights? Yes, that's the good news, Jen. Thank you. The Australian football video will be releasing Ablett, one special season, at major retail outlets within three weeks' time. And after the break, more sport, including a steroid shock for an Aussie weightlifter.